Before that, a story that will soften even the hardest of hearts. When Paul Norman had to give up teaching early at the age of just 49, he was devastated. He was later diagnosed with multiple system atrophy and lost his ability to walk, talk and care for himself. Before he died last year, he returned to Billericay School in Essex, where he taught English for 15 years to give one last lecture with the help of an iPad. Last time most of you saw me, I was a different person. I now have multiple system atrophy or MSA for short. It affects every part of me, and I mean every part, except my brain. The worst things are not being able to talk or walk anymore, and having to rely completely on other people. So seeing you all is very emotional for me. I cried enough last Christmas when I saw the wonderful video which some of you were in. Well, it's his son, Will, um, who you can see helping uh, him. And he's now made a documentary about his dad to try to raise awareness. And I'm delighted to say that Will joins me now. Will, just seeing that short clip there, it's incredibly emotional and powerful stuff. Um, why did your dad want to go back to his old school and, and give that last lesson? Um, well, originally he didn't actually know about it and I'd mm. planned to surprise him with it. But yeah. then uh, after having a word with his carers, she said, no, that would overload him and shock him. Mm. Um, but once I kind of talked him into it, he, he got into his head, yeah, mm. I'll be this kind of, it'll be this reconnection with my past and he'll be able to be the teacher that he, he loved being in, in, his, uh, in his heyday. Yeah. Um, multiple system atrophy, I suppose it's quite similar to locked-in syndrome. Um, mm. You know, we saw the devastating effects and you chart that in your documentary what was the hardest thing for your dad do you think um the hardest thing for dad was kind of changing from this confident charismatic mm. man who was always in charge was always the leader mm. to being all of a sudden this locked yeah. in person patient in a chair we can see um, him now there yeah that's him yeah. playing the guitar it was always a joker as well and to have to repeat a joke 10 or 15 times through an ipad is incredibly kind of humiliating for him yeah. um, and not being able to do voices was one of the worst things because he loved to do impressions. And you wanted to make this documentary because you wanted to raise awareness about MSA, didn't you? Mm. Yeah, well, it's kind of fitting that I'm doing this tonight um, in March, actually, because it's MSA Awareness Month. Um, and he had great help through uh, the MSA Trust who have a website where you can get all the help from. Mm -hmm. um, but I wanted to show people not only does MSA Trust provide a lot of care, but also his carers. There was kind of a, a, a harem of carers yeah. around him who were his lifeline. Yeah. Psychological, spiritual, physical help. Um, you talk about your dad's sense of humour. We've got another clip from when he went back to school and met his students mm. uh, where he, he tells a joke. Let's have a listen to that. The other day I was moving my hand to scratch my nose and my carer thought I was signalling for my glasses. And recently my mum asked me what I would like to eat from the fridge. I asked for tiramisu, but she thought I'd said tin of soup. <laughs> Very confusing. So Will, even then your, your dad is making jokes. It says a lot about what he was like. Yeah, great banter. Um, yeah, he liked making a joke and he was always kind of, when I was filming this, out to make it jovial, trivialise it mm. and just enjoy life. And that's kind of the attitude that I like to champion in this film. Oh, well, it certainly does show that. Uh, Will Norman, thank you so much for coming in to talk to me today. Thank you. Lovely to meet you. Thank you. And uh, for more information about multiple system atrophy, you can just go to our website. Just search online for ITV London.